Horror icons, primetime stars, criminals, and queens, the cast of The Craft has done it all. Want to know which breakout performer captured Ben Stiller's heart? Wondering why you recognized the pilot from Sharknado? Keep watching to learn all about this ensemble cast. Sarah Bailey, played by Robin Tunney, is a bit unsure of herself, and not just because she recently transferred to a new school. She doesn't know how or why she's able to do the things she can, and fears she'll lose control of her powers and hurt the people around her. Following the craft, Tunney got another dose of the supernatural in 1999's iconically bad End of Days. She plays the role of Christine York, a woman whom the devil, played by Gabriel Byrne, has selected to be the mother of the Antichrist. Unless Arnold Schwarzenegger has anything to say about it. Christine, come to me. I am the one you've been waiting for. I am the answer to your prayers. For 2000's critically panned Vertical Limit, Tunney took on the role of Annie Garrett, a trapped mountain climber in need of rescue by her brother, played by Chris O'Donnell. Tunney later appeared in 2006's period crime drama Hollywoodland, which told a fictionalized version of the death of Superman actor George Reeves, portrayed by Ben Affleck. She plays Lenore Lemon, Reeves' fiancé at the time of his death. In 2008, Tunney took up the role of Teresa Lisbon, boss and love interest to the title character on USA's procedural drama The Mentalist. More recently, she had a lead role as Maya Travis on ABC's ill-fated legal drama The Fix. Feruza Balk plays the ambitious and spiteful role of Nancy Downs. Unsatisfied by the insurance payout from her late stepfather's death and jealous of Sarah's natural talent, Nancy goes to drastic measures to strengthen her powers and outclass her friends. The same year the craft hit theaters, Bach washed off the goth makeup and popped in some custom incisors for the role of human-cat hybrid Aisa in the remake of The Island of Dr. Moreau. Two years later, Bach brought to life another complicated, power-hungry young woman for 1998's American History X. She played Stacy, the soon-to-be ex-girlfriend of recently former neo-Nazi skinhead Derek Vineyard, played by Edward Norton. The very same year, she took on the decidedly lighter role of Vicky Valancourt, love interest to Adam Sandler's character Bobby Boucher in the sports comedy The Waterboy. In 2015, Bach landed a recurring role on the Showtime drama Ray Donovan, playing Ginger, a prostitute who befriends the title character's father. In Amazon's series Paradise City, Bach plays the role of Lizzie Thomas, the grandmother to Faith, the daughter to series lead Johnny Faust, played by Andy Biersack. Bonnie Harper, as played by actor Nev Campbell, starts out on the quiet side. Covered in mysterious burn scars, she does her best to hide as much of her body as possible. When Sarah shows up and the witches have their fourth, she manages to remove her scars completely and gains newfound confidence in her appearance from then on. The Craft really put Campbell on the path to being a 90s it girl. The same year The Craft came out, she starred as protagonist Sidney Prescott in Wes Craven's teen horror flick Scream. Campbell went on to reprise the role for the 1997 sequel Scream 2, as well as 2000's Scream 3 and 2011's Scream 4. Following Craven's death in 2015, Campbell also appeared in Scream 5, which came out in January of 2022. In addition to the teen horror film genre, Campbell has also found success on the small screen. In the popular drama Party of Five, she stars as orphan Julia Salinger. She also enjoyed a recurring role as political strategist Leanne Harvey on Netflix's political thriller drama House of Cards. Rochelle Zimmerman, played by Rachel True, rounds out the quartet of young witches. In addition to dabbling in witchcraft, she is also a member of the school's diving team. Despite her diving talent, she's bullied relentlessly by her teammate Laura. Laura's racist taunts lead Rochelle to seek revenge, eventually causing the superficial pretty girl to lose her hair and become despondent. Two years after filming The Craft, True joined the cast of Half-Baked. In the dim stoner comedy, she played the super cleverly named Mary Jane Potman, opposite Dave Chappelle's character Thurgood Jenkins. Mary Jane is Thurgood's love interest in the film, eventually forcing him to choose between sex or smoking weed. Marijuana is terrible. It's a gateway drug. I and mean, everybody knows that it leads to other stuff. Beginning in 2002, True took on the role of Mona Thorne in the UPN sitcom Half and Half, which followed the unexpected friendship between Mona and her half-sister Dee Dee, played by Essence Atkins. True appeared on the show throughout its entire four-season run before it was canceled in 2006. More recently, True appeared as Johnny Valentine in Sharknado 2, the second one. True plays the first officer aboard Flight 209, a plane attacked by airborne sharks. 
Unfortunately, she doesn't last long. That same year, she appeared in Blood Lake, Attack of the Killer Lampreys, as Marcy, a member of the Fish and Wildlife Service who falls prey to the title monsters. Actor Skeet Ulrich took on the role of repugnant Chris Hooker. Like many archetypal campus kings, Chris maintains a good guy persona when the occasion calls for it, feigning innocence and sidestepping the truth like an all-American running back. When Chris doesn't get what he wants, the charm turns off and the mean-spirited bully comes out. Sarah manages to tame him with a love spell, but this eventually backfires when Chris becomes obsessed and dangerous. Ulrich had a prolific run in the mid-90s, with The Craft serving as one of his five film appearances in 1996 alone. Later that year, he joined co-star Nev Campbell in the franchise launching Scream, though his character didn't enjoy the same longevity as hers. Ulrich played Billy Loomis, Sidney Prescott's boyfriend and initial murder suspect. After revealing himself as one of the two killers alongside his friend and co-conspirator Stu, played by Matthew Lillard, Sidney shoots him in the head. The actor went on to appear as Vincent, the model turned assailant in 1997's acclaimed As Good As It Gets. Two decades later, Ulrich took up the role of Forsyth Peddleton Jones II on CW's Riverdale. Ulrich played the reformed criminal father to Jughead and eventual Riverdale sheriff for five seasons before departing the series. In an interview with Variety, Ulrich stated, I'm leaving Riverdale because I got bored creatively. Mitt, Chris's slacker best friend, is brought to life by actor Brecken Meyer. Mitt is goofy, but a loyal friend to Chris. He's seemingly got nothing but wisecracks to offer until he gets an eyeful of scar-free Bonnie, that is. In 1998, Meyer appeared in 54, alongside fellow 90s up-and-comer Ryan Philippi, with the two playing bartenders at the infamous New York City hotspot. In 2000's sophomore sex comedy road trip, he landed the lead role of Josh Parker, a man forced to travel across the country in order to stop a sex tape he made with another girl from being delivered to his long-distance girlfriend. The following year, Meyer played lawyer Nick Schaefer in the 2001 comedy Rat Race, where he competes in a race across the desert funded by John Cleese's character Donald Sinclair. On the small screen, Meyer played Jared Franklin, one half of the title duo on Franklin and Bash. Jared, an unorthodox lawyer, works alongside his partner and longtime friend Peter Bash, played by Mark Paul Gosler. Meyer also joined the Kraft co-star Robin Tunney in the 2019 legal drama The Fix, playing the L.A. District Attorney Charlie Wiest. Laura Lizzie, played by Christine Taylor, is kind of the worst. She's openly and unapologetically racist to Rochelle, taunting the young woman and deriding her hair. From yelling shark in the middle of Rochelle's dive to just all-around nastiness, Laura's eventual comeuppance is satisfying, if not a bit guilt-inducing. Outside of her role in The Craft, we assume Christine Taylor is perfectly nice. Why else would Ben Stiller have married her in 2000? Taylor and Stiller would go on to appear in 2001 Zoolander and 2004's Dodgeball, a true underdog story. In Zoolander, viewers will recognize Taylor as the fictional Time Magazine journalist Matilda Jeffries, whose hit piece makes the title character Derek Zoolander look like a fool. In Dodgeball, she portrays bank lawyer Kate Veach, where she dodges both balls and unwanted advances from Stiller's character White Goodman. Taylor has a cameo in the 2008 action flick satire Tropic Thunder, appearing in the film within the film Simple Jack. Beginning in 2016, she took on the recurring role of Gale in HBO's series Search Party. She plays the rich boss to Alia Shawkat's character Dory. Spanish actress Asumpta Serna took on the role of Lirio for The Craft. Viewers first meet Lirio when Nancy and the gang take Sarah to her bookstore and proceed to shoplift from it. Sarah surprises the spiritually inclined shopkeeper by actually paying for something. The bulk of Serna's filmography has come in international fare, though she has logged plenty of English language projects in the years since the craft premiered. Among those is the 2003 TV movie Henry VIII. She later appeared in the 2008 indie crime drama Uncertainty, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the protagonist, Bobby. Serna appears as Sylvia Montero, mother to Bobby's pregnant girlfriend, Kate, played by Lynn Collins. Actor Cliff D. Young plays Sarah's father in The Craft. While Sarah has a complicated relationship with her father, she's relieved to discover he's still alive despite what Bonnie, Nancy, and Rochelle lead her to believe. In the movie's final scene, Sarah's father can be seen packing up the car while Sarah confronts Nancy and Bonnie. The year after The Craft was released, DeYoung appeared in 1997's crime thriller Suicide Kings. 
DeYoung plays Marty, the lawyer to former Mafia boss Charlie Barrett, portrayed by Christopher Walken. When Charlie is kidnapped by a group of well-meaning students in need of ransom money, Marty looks into his employer's disappearance. DeYoung has racked up an impressive who's who list of primetime TV drama appearances as well. He plays a lawyer on The Practice, a reporter on the NCIS precursor JAG, a doctor on Melrose Place, and John Ramsey in the TV movie Getting Away with Murder, The John Benet Ramsey Mystery. Other highlights include a four-episode stint as Agent John Bonacek on The Young and the Restless and a two-episode arc on Grey's Anatomy. DeYoung's most recent credit came as Joe Logo in the mockumentary Reality Queen. The show follows London Logo, Joe's daughter, portrayed by Julia Faye West, who's determined to prove she's more than just a vapid celebrity debutante and heiress. Nancy's mother, Grace Downs, is brought to life by actor Helen Shaver. She may have lousy taste in men, but she still seems to luck out when it comes to their deaths. Despite the uncanny circumstances surrounding her late husband's passing, Grace is too busy living the good life to worry about things like mysterious life insurance policies. Shortly after the craft hit theaters, Shaver appeared in the direct-to-video sequel Tremors 2 Aftershocks. She took on the role of Dr. Kate Riley, a geologist whose field work brings her in close proximity to the Graboids, a species of subterranean creatures that's terrorizing a Mexican oil field. After original Tremors character Fred Ward, portrayed by Earl Bassett, saves Dr. Riley's life, she becomes his love interest. That same year, Shaver landed a main cast role in Poltergeist, The Legacy, playing Dr. Rachel Corrigan for four seasons of the horror series. Rachel, a skilled psychiatrist, is invited to join the titular secret occult society after receiving their aid, though her cynicism keeps her from believing in the paranormal. Shaver also appeared in the 2007 indie drama Numb. She plays Audrey, the mother to depressed screenwriter Hudson Milbank, portrayed by Matthew Perry, whose spiral of detachment leads him to seek psychiatric help. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.